arena here is a remarkable stadium in many ways. It features a retractable pitch, a retractable roof, definitely one of the most modern arenas around. And so, the national anthems. some performance and now here comes the response And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? One of the game's best ever, Cristiano Ronaldo. He brings the power to whatever he does, and his unquenchable thirst for goals is always an enjoyable sideshow. It's very rare he fails to leave his mark. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Well, that's where he wants it. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And it's Bernardo Silva. He tries a shot! <laughs> tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. Back to the keeper and go again. Bruno Fernandes drives it forward. Jota. Guerrero. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Cristiano Ronaldo is an obvious threat from set pieces. He needs special attention to stop making a run. Great leap! Could fall kindly. Portugal! And Portugal score first! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. That's just great play, Peter. A textbook example for any wannabe footballers out there on positioning and movement. Portugal have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this all goes well now. A really good feat. Defence has got rid of that. William Carvalho gets it back. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. 
Rui Patricio sends that a long way. Hoists it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Plays it back. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! And for a moment, time stood still. Get the better of his opposite number. Bernardo Silva looking to get on the end of this. Bernardo Silva. Keeper sees it all the way. Ecuador have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Cross needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Could move up a gear here. And it's Guerrero. Appearance and very necessary. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Keeper sends it forward. Jota. He's made sure that that won't get through. Clears it out of harm's way. Looking to break out here. A really good feat from him. Has a hit! Gets good distance on it. He's got away with one there. Bruno Fernandes. Has a pop! Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. The three's had a look and he's thrown his whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think. They lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Portugal, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Well, the action has already resumed here. Portugal carrying a one-goal lead. He's got it, and he's got... has a hit! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance.
everything starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Now he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Plays it out to the wing. Bruno Fernandes. Jota. He's through. Gets into a dangerous position. Ruben Diaz. Jota. Cristiano Ruben. He's had a shot! He's going after it. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Real chance! This could fall anywhere. And it's played forward. Jota. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Ecuador are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Plays it long. He's got options out wide. Bernardo Silva. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. It's Valencia. Defending was strong and firm. Guerrero with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Someone out. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. That's a throw. But there's going to be another change here. Two changes being made right now. And it's played forward. Oh, and he's asking too much with that. Danger here. It's a great ball. Put aside that time. Gets it upfield. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Crunching tackle. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Silva Jota Well oh, Red he sorted that out Forward it goes And now the breakaway Head towards the front men And he's straight offside
beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Portugal making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Ecuador get themselves back into contention. I think they've done so well to get back in it, but it's important now that they don't become over-eager in chasing another. They only need one more chance. Patience is key. Loses his balance and loses the ball. That's a brilliant interception. They've managed to get it away. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Bernardo Silva finds himself offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. He spotted the run and played him through. He could be in here. That intervention was very necessary. And the counter is on. Done very well to intervene. And it's Bernardo Silva. Shot a goal! Oh, just over. Ruben Diaz nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. Looks to clip it forward. He's picked him out. And they've been caught out here. And time is up. So that's the first round done. And on we go. We look back on the game then, Jim. Portugal have turned a, a win by one goal into round two. And they seem to have a personality that could win quite a few extra admirers.